This year marks the golden wedding anniversary for high school sweethearts, Bob and Christy Harkin. 50 years, we've had a lot of good days without a doubt, no question about it. God has been so faithful to us that he's kept us going. When the Harkins married back in the late 60s, Bob worked in sales. I worked for a national company and, and was making really, really good money. We had a nice house. We went on skiing trips, we downhill. We went on vacations, you know, ate at any restaurant. I went into any store that I wanted to buy something, I could buy it. But after a few years, Bob was asked to take a pay cut. He eventually left and decided to take another sales job where he was paid solely on commission. This time, sales didn't come as easily. Very stressful. Uh, our kids were young at the time and trying to, you know, keep up all, with all the payments, mortgage payments, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It was just got to the point where I had to file a uh, bankruptcy, uh, which was the most humiliating thing I've ever done in my life. It was humbling. You know, Bob would come home and say, well, you can't buy groceries this week. We're just going to have to get by. I would want to do something or somebody would ask us to go out for dinner. And Bob said, we can't go out for dinner. We don't have the money. And so I'd have to make some excuse of why we couldn't go out with, with our friends. Christy and Bob were Christians, but because of all the bills, they didn't think they could afford to tithe. Well, it was probably a lack of trust when it really comes down to that. The tithing principle, trust is a huge part of it, where he says, trust me in this. That wasn't coming through to me. The couple took extra jobs to try and make ends meet, but it wasn't enough. I can tell you on and on and on about how stressful it was. My wife can attest to that. We were in a pressure cooker, basically for 30 years. Then one night at church, Bob heard a message on tithing that changed his thinking. Christ changed my understanding of money because the revelation came through that it's all his. I just try to be a good steward. And I want to, therefore, give him the first fruits of, of what he's blessed me with. Bob paid his tithe on his next check. That Friday, I was so excited to sit in front of my computer because I get paid electronically. The money was there. The first 10% went to my local church. And I had a joy in my heart to say, there it is. It's gone. And it's been that way every day, every pay period since. As soon as he paid his tithe, Bob saw an uptick in his sales. And as his income began to increase, so did his giving. So then, 2015, uh, I turned around, I had my biggest year ever. 2016, bigger than 2015, I told God, I said, for all the new business that you opened the doors for me, I'm gonna give 50% of the first order's commissions to, to you, the Lord. The Harkins saw even more increase in their finances as they continued to give. Eventually, they were able to pay off all of their bills. From 2010 to 2017, my income grew by 25.6%. However, I made almost $10,000 more in 2017 than I did 2016, which was my biggest year ever. Bob and Christy became CBN partners in 2002 and recently increased their giving to the 2500 Club level. I give to CBM because I feel it's the best ministry in the world for all the things that they do, the lives that they touch, all aspects of the ministry. It's unbelievable. It's a ministry that's good soil, good ground, so you know what it's going to produce. It's not just one, one area, but they touch lots of areas in people's lives and around the world. Today, the Harkins are looking forward to more years of happiness. To me, it's part of the whole principle of putting God first. He wants to take care of every aspect of your life, your health, your marriage, your relationships, your finances, everything. Each year, we have given more in our tithes and in our offerings. And it's just fun to see the hand of God move on your behalf. You're faithful to Him, He's faithful to you. It just, it works.